and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Amelia and for the month of December I am posting on Wednesdays and live streaming on Saturdays. So in today's video we are just going to talk about my top 10 favorite products of 2022. I have beauty, home, and miscellaneous and that's pretty much what my life consists of so yeah let's just dive right into it. Obviously number one press on nails. I think I've spoken about them in like any get ready with me or any products video or anything this past year. So you're probably sick of me talking about them, but I have to talk about them just one last time. I don't have any on currently because I am trying to find a good pair to wear for Christmas and I just haven't yet. But press on nails, I think like not to be dramatic, but really saved my relationship with like getting my nails done. I don't particularly love going to the nail salon because it's just so time consuming and I don't find it to be relaxing at all. So when I just kind of randomly picked up a pair of the Kiss press-ons because my friend had suggested them, I was like, wait, this is kind of life-changing. And then from there, it's just evolved to me trying a ton of different brands and styles and whatever. So my favorite brands are Glamnetic and Static. I find that they wear the best. They feel the most like an acrylic nail. They're well-priced, usually have sales, and also have really pretty designs. I don't know. Anytime anyone's like, oh, I like your nails, I like the press-ons. Like, I feel like it's part of my life's mission to just like have everyone switch to press-on nails. It's way cheaper. I mean, the time and money that is spent at the nail salon can be saved in just wearing some press on nails. If you love going to the nail salon, like, good on you. It was just never a relaxing experience for me. So, next, I want to talk about the Huda Beauty Pastels Lilac Palette. So, this isn't new. I think this is probably like three, if not four years old. But I picked it up randomly on a Sephora sale at the beginning of this year because I just kind of wanted a purple eyeshadow. I had a purple eyeshadow when I was like in high school, beginning of college, and I thought it looked really pretty on my coloring, but it got old. And then, I don't know, we as a society like discontinued pretty shades of purple until this palette. If you have like coloring like mine, so I would say like I'm a neutral, cool winter, this palette is going to look so pretty on you. You can go super bold with some of the purples they have, and these glitters are really, really pretty. This is the one I have on today, and on my finger, it looks really shiny and everything. Like, it just gives a little color, a little shine, a little glitter, but it is buildable. Same with the actual matte shadows. I usually will, like, throw one of these transition shades on in my crease on just like a regular day just to give some more depth to my eyes. But this has really been like the palette that I have been wearing for the past year. So if you see me on camera, see me in real life and you're wondering what it is, it is this palette. Number three is this little mitten. So this is from Skinnerals Natural Skin Science. I had originally purchased this because it is, I'm getting the glitter all over this. It is a tanning, fake tan remover mitt. And I needed to remove a bad tan I had. So it's like, yeah, let me pick this up. It works as that, but it works as an even better exfoliator. Like just true skin exfoliator. This will make you so smooth. You can see the dead skin coming off. So it gives you a nice exfoliation without feeling like you're rubbing your skin raw or anything. But definitely pick this up. I just um, picked it up on Amazon. Anything that I can link to, I will link down below. And then the final like beauty product is my Revlon Hot Airbrush. I also have spoken about this at nauseum this year, but this was another kind of like impulsey purchase at TJ Maxx. I was randomly there and I saw it for like 40 bucks and I was like, yeah, let's just try it. You know, if it doesn't work, oh well, you know, 40 bucks, whatever. It's better than spending $500 on the Dyson and finding out that doesn't work. If you need a nice blowout, if that's all you're looking for, just something to dry your hair, 
give you a nice blowout or even just some volume if you still want to keep it straight just pick this up save yourself the energy the money and get yourself the revlon hot airbrush the key for me so as you can see i have pretty like curly hair um it has a lot of texture in the back that i usually have to go over with a straightener if i wanted to get like smooth shiny hair so what i do is i will put this on low there's three different settings cool low high and then obviously off i will put it on low for like most of my hair and then when i get to like this portion of my hair that is when I will turn it up to high and so it will help take the frizz the texture out of my hair and keeping it shiny I don't need necessarily that much heat on the bottom portions of my hair because this is like thinner it doesn't have a lot of texture like the top does so if your hair is similar to mine that's like my little trick and I obviously use a heat protectant before I use this but again just want a pretty blowout, just want to keep the frizz down, buy this, forget the Dyson. So that was all the beauty. Let's move on to some fashion. First, my Ugg slippers. So I got these last year for Christmas and I did ask for them. Obviously I like the color pink, but these are great. These are not your regular, typical old lady slippers. They have a little height to them. They have a cute strap and they keep your feet genuinely warm, give you a little height so you feel a little cute, sexy, hot while you're just walking around your house. They have a ton of different colors in the style. I think they even have a higher platform. I can't say enough good things about these. Like I would have these in every color if I could. And I said this in my gift guide, I like them too because as a shorter person, just having a little height, it does. It just makes you feel like a little, a little dressed up throughout the day. All right, next item, the Lululemon Cross body bag. I know, every girly has it on TikTok. I got it for my birthday this year, and it was one of those things that I didn't know I needed until it was given to me. And now I use it all the time as like a regular purse to actually go out or if I'm just running a few errands, I'll put like my credit cards, keys, phone in here, run around. It actually has a ton of room for what looks like a small little purse. So, I mean, this thing can expand pretty wide. It has pockets on the inside to keep you a little bit organized. And then also a pocket on the back to put like credit cards or stuff that's more intimate and it can clip open and closed if you wanted to wear it like an actual fanny pack but i do you know wear it as just like a crossbody like this i love it so thank you to my uncle and his girlfriend for buying this for me because it has made my top 10 products of 2022 all right moving on to home items the first one being my mini keurig i had like i think maybe the original Keurig and I had that since my freshman year of college so it had been with me through a lot and honestly it still worked fine it was just super bulky big took up so much room on my limited counter space and really just didn't look aesthetically pleasing in my beautifully renovated kitchen so Bed Bath & Beyond was having a sale and I was like you know what I'm the only person in this house who makes coffee, makes tea. So I really don't need a reservoir of water. And I purchased it, it came in this beautiful blue color and it's great. You know, it's just for myself. If you are just like a single person or the only person in your house who drinks hot drinks, I would definitely recommend this. I also found out the actual reservoir is detachable thanks to TikTok. So now instead of like me dumping water in and it spilling half out, I can just simply take it to my sink, put some water in it, and you're good to go. The next item is the air fryer. I purchased this air fryer for my boyfriend for Christmas because he really wanted one, but I wasn't too keen on the idea because again, limited counter space, like what, uh, we don't really eat fried food, so it doesn't really make sense. But I found one that was a toaster and dehydrator 
along with an air fryer. So we got rid of my old toaster oven because I usually make toast in the morning for breakfast and put this in. Lucky for me, I found it in the same color as my Keurig, which was just like meant to be. And it's amazing. Even if you don't like eat fried foods, so you're trying to like get away from eating fried foods, it just like cooks dinner for you. I particularly hate cooking dinner. It's, you know, I didn't understand it when I was little. Like, you know, you come home and the chicken's not defrosted and you want to throw the chicken out the window. Like, I get it now. As a person who has to make dinner for themselves every single night, I get it. So having the air fryer cook things in like half the time that it would in a regular oven is amazing. I cook like chicken cutlets, paninis, toasting bagels. Um, we even do pork loin sometimes and it gets the outside like nice and crispy. Like this thing comes in handy. I definitely use it at least once, if not multiple times a day. So if you want an air fryer, but there's not a lot of counter space, you also need a toaster oven, maybe you need the dehydrator. I would definitely recommend this air fryer. Okay. We have come to the final two things and these aren't necessarily things. So the first one being YouTube workouts. Obviously during the pandemic when everything was closed, YouTube workouts came in handy and I did them then and I still do them and I don't really ever see myself going back to a gym or a fitness class because well, it's free online and it's great and I don't have to leave my house and no one's watching me. If you are a person who needs to go to a gym, needs to go to a class, like that is totally fine. I totally get it. But I would say maybe look at some YouTube classes. My favorites are Move With Nicole. She does Pilates, yoga, bar. She's Australian, so her backgrounds are always really pretty. But the great thing is she explains things in so perfect detail that you don't even necessarily need to be watching the screen. You can just like listen to her and do the workout. I always recommend her when someone's talking about getting into Pilates. I think she's an amazing instructor. The second person is Kaylee Cohen. I found her for her spin workouts, but she also does strength workouts. Again, she has beginner to advanced, like 10 minutes up until 60 minutes with her strength, which is usually what I follow her for. I will do spin a few times, but definitely I'm like doing her strength, strength workouts the most. She will do like cycles so you can have it you'll follow like a calendar and everything and another nice thing is if you join her discord you're like in a class and you can do some of the cycling workouts live with other people so if you still wanted the class atmosphere but didn't necessarily want to leave your house that is a really nice option that she has then the last one who i actually just recently found her name is fabulous 50s shelly I know this channel is technically for women who are like nearing menopause, but I really love her. Shelly is another Australian woman and she is so positive and bright and bubbly and I do her walking workouts. I don't know, I just always, like my mood just from her alone is like elevated. I need don't really feel like I've ever found that in an instructor. So when I kind of randomly stumbled upon this, I was like, oh my God, she's like so positive, so fun. As I said, I have loved YouTube workouts this past year. I mean, whatever workout you do, there is someone doing it on YouTube. So definitely take advantage of like a free platform. And then finally, Canva. Where would my channel be? without Canva. If you want to learn Photoshop, want to learn Illustrator, by all means, go ahead, do so. If you know how to use it, this is no hate. This is me saying, I do not have that skill level nor patience level. And that is why I use Canva and love Canva. And I recently purchased Canva Pro. So now I have access to a few more things like background remover. So like I can get rid of all this and I can just place me in like outer space. And also their music. 
that they have. So it comes from Epidemic Sound. So I actually don't have to buy a separate subscription to Epidemic. I can just use the library in Canva and it's safe for YouTube. It's an amazing resource for just creators in general, no matter what levels. So you can start from scratch or they have templates that you use and you can use free Canva for pretty much anything, just like the background remover, the music and some of the fonts or like elements that they have will only be in pro, but you can pr pretty much get away with everything else in the free version. Those were my top 10 items of 2022 that I have been using, been loving, wearing all the time, just all that good stuff. Like I said, anything with links, I will put down below. None of this was sponsored anyway. This is not a sponsored video. This is just me letting you know what I have been loving and maybe you will love it too if you try it out. So if you have something that you've been loving, let me know in the comments below. I love to try new stuff out. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, I am live streaming on Saturdays for the month of December and uploading Wednesdays. And other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.